why do I look different in every video that I make? <laughs> Hello everybody! Welcome back to Clara's Corner. Today, we're gonna be making marbled cardstock paper. Now, this is one of my favorite crafts to make because it allows you to get a little messy, a, a little messy, <laughs> and the results are versatile and you could use them for notes, but you could also cut shapes out of them, cut words out of them. You could really let your imagination just run wild with this one. And it's just so much fun to do. I love playing with shaving cream. <laughs> So before we start, I'm going to show you a couple examples of paper that I've made in the past using the same technique. What you're going to need is shaving cream, a large container, it doesn't have to be too deep, so I got a shallow one, a ruler, chopsticks. It doesn't have to be chopsticks, you could use a pencil or a pen, it'll work just fine, but I don't mind getting these dyed or colored, I'm never going to use them again. Food coloring paper towel for the mess, some sort of thick paper. You could get cardstock paper from any art supply store or even Walmart. <laughs> I had cue cards lying around. Cue cards are thicker than printer paper. If you use printer paper for this, it'll get messy and mushy and wet, so I wouldn't recommend that. Anything that's slightly thicker will work just fine. Let's begin. The first thing we need to do is fill the container with shaving cream. It doesn't have to be completely full, but if you get it about half an inch, that should be just right. I'm just gonna spread it out so it, it's nice and even. The more even it is, the easier the pattern will take. I'm gonna use red, yellow, blue, and green and add little dots to your shaving cream. So there doesn't have to be a real pattern to it. You can really just put them down randomly. I usually space them about a few centimeters apart. So now that I have all the colors, I'm gonna grab my chopstick and start swirling the dots together and making a fun pattern. This part, you don't really have to have a plan for it. You can kind of just go with whatever feels right to you. And when you put the chopstick in, you just want to kind of scrape the surface. You don't want to go too deep, otherwise it won't swirl as well. Now that I have my pattern on the shaving cream, I'm going to grab my cue card and place it down on the side that I want the pattern to show. So when you press it down, you don't want to push too hard or too deep, but at the same time, you want to make sure the whole bottom is going to be fully covered in the shaving cream. Then what you're going to do is peel it off carefully, let's pull this out of the way. Then I'm going to grab my ruler, kind of put it at an angle, and then I'm going to wipe the excess shaving cream off. The next step is just to let it dry, but look how beautiful that looks. So I just went and got a fresh layer of shaving cream because I wanted to try a different pattern. With this one, I'm going to make it green and yellow. If you wanted to keep the same colors and make multiple pieces of paper with the same pattern, you're welcome to. The dye will cover quite a few pieces of paper. But if you wanted to try something else, you need to get rid of that whole batch of shaving cream and start making a new one. So it's been a couple hours and I've let my cardstock paper dry. Here are the results. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. I think they're all really cool. The fun thing about this project is that there's no wrong way to do it. Sometimes the patterns don't turn out the way you want them to and that's completely okay. It all looks really cool at the end. I would also recommend wearing gloves because the dye does stain your hands and your clothes so try not to wear anything that you like too much and there you have it marble cardstock paper see you next time guys